This is an overview of Arometer's state-of-the-art landscape irrigation control technology. It eliminates wasting water from over-irrigation. With over 50 years of experience in irrigation water management, we proudly present the water switch for residential applications. With the water switch, you will be achieving water conservation through efficient irrigation water management. This will save you, the homeowner, water, money, and time. By placing a soil moisture sensor in the plant root zone, tied to the water switch, that signals your irrigation controller when to irrigate. The system automatically delivers only the necessary irrigation because the sensor shuts the controller off when not necessary, therefore watering the plant need, and is simple to install. Many industry and government initiatives promote the use of such smart technologies to conserve water. Check with your local water district to see if their conservation programs offer financial incentives or rebates to upgrade your system to smart control using arometer soil moisture sensors. The water switch is easy to install. It consists of two parts. The first is the sensor that is installed in a representative area of the turf grass or your landscape area with the highest water demands. The second is the water switch control module that interfaces with your irrigation controller or timer. The water switch is exclusively for residential use and allows a single sensor per controller. For landscapes with more diverse water requirements, we have other products that allow multiple sensors per controller. First, the appropriate sensor location must be determined. The irrigation plan represents a typical lawn irrigation area. Here you will see the sprinklers watering the grass. The sensor should be located in the area of greatest water demand, such as turf grass, that is well covered by the sprinkling watering pattern. To begin an installation, first the sensor must be conditioned by soaking in a cup of water for several hours. The watermark sensor should always be installed wet. When installing the sensor, a narrow trench is excavated from the sensor location to either the nearest valve box where extra wires may exist, or back to the controller. Using a shovel, the turf grass or landscape is removed, exposing the roots. Using a piece of half-inch pipe, a soil core is removed from the root zone, making a pilot hole for the watermark sensor to be installed. The sensor is then inserted into the pilot hole and firmly seated to the proper depth. A snug fit is essential to obtain accurate sensor readings. The wires are then placed at the bottom of the trench going back to the point of the connection to the controller. The turf grass or landscape is now replaced. A wire path is necessary from the sensor location to the controller. In many cases, spare wires exist from the controller to the valve location in the landscape. These spare wires can be used to connect to the sensor to minimize the amount of trenching necessary. Here, we have extra wires in the valve box that we will use to connect to the watermark sensor coming from the field location. The wires are stripped on the ends and connected using waterproof wire nuts included with the water switch. At the controller, let's first connect the AC power to the water switch module. Unplug the transformer from the AC supply for safety reasons. Then, locate the transformer power connections and connect the black and white wires accordingly. Locate the rain or sensor terminals on your controller. With this controller, we are selecting the yellow and brown wires from the water switch and connecting them to the proper terminals. The last step of this installation is to take the green wires from the water switch module and connect them to the sensor wires coming from the field location. When this is complete, the installation of the hardware is finished. Now that all the wire connections have been made, let's talk about programming or scheduling your new improved smart soil moisture enhanced controller. Locate the station that irrigates the area where the sensor is located. If needed, rewire that station to make it the last station to run on your controller. 
This will allow all the stations prior to the sensor the opportunity to be watered. When selecting a moisture setting, always pick a wetter setting and observe the landscape for some time before adjusting to a drier setting. If dry spots appear in the turf, adjust the sprinkler to give more uniform coverage. If the entire area appears dry, then select a wetter moisture setting. Program your control with multiple start times to deliver the desired amount of water. The water switch will read the sensor periodically and allow watering only when necessary. Aries demanding less water can be adjusted to water less frequently than the turf by reducing the run and start times. And always, program station run times so that excessive runoff does not occur. A software program called WaterPerfect is available to download from our website, arometer.com. This scheduling engine creates a recommended program for your controller based upon the characteristics of your landscape. Now that you have installed the water switch soil moisture sensing device and programmed your controller, here's an overview on the operation of your new smart irrigation system. The water switch will only allow irrigation events to take place when the plant calls for water. The red indicator light on the water switch illuminates when programmed irrigation events are not necessary, which means water is being saved. As you can see by looking at this graph, significant water savings can be achieved. Other benefits of using soil moisture control are seasonal adjustments are automatic, the environment benefits because overwatering is eliminated, and pest and disease problems are minimized. Our complete line of soil moisture products, including the water switch module, are available from your local irrigation supply house, starting from around $100.